Hi there, this is Faye from Face World Media, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about a very exciting new feature from Podia, their blogging feature. So that's right, you can now start blogging inside Podia. For over four years now, Face World Academy has been hosted on Podia. Not only are we users, but we're also advocates. The only reservation with full transparency we had years ago was their email feature, which was great, was a little bit more basic compared to more complex setup with automations and filtering. But that has changed. We just created a video recently to showcase the more advanced email features that's going to have everything you need. Now, today we're going to talk about the other side, which is blogging. Not only is Podia very affordable, but it also offers very premium customer support services. Podia really understands creators because it was originally created for creators like you and like me. Without further ado, I'm going to show you on the screen why I think Podia blogging is so essential, the powerful features that's already baked into their blogging system and platform, how you can take advantage of it right away. Plus, without any expertise when it comes to, you know, SEO, and design and things like that, you can get started right away. It is very user friendly. All right, let's take a look at Podia's new blogging feature. By the way, I'm going to include some of these helpful resources and tools in the description below so you can check it out. When you're ready to get started, click on Setup Blog. Please note Podia blogging is in beta. Currently, we have early access and we're going to try to provide feedback as much as possible. Similar to Podia websites, you can customize how you want your blog landing page to look as well as individual blog posts. There's some templates you can take a look at right away. So I'm just curious. What I love about this is you can actually see how the blog displays from within your own academy. So here is Face World. So far, so good. It's also demonstrating the different styles you can have. So this is probably H2 right here. You can have bold, italic, color highlighting. That's nice. And this button will take you to the website editor. You can add images to your Podio blog post as well as videos, exactly as how this is showing up right now. You can embed content from social media and other websites. Lovely. I love this one. By the way, I haven't even really thought too deeply about embedding something like an Instagram post, but that makes perfect sense. You can also include downloads. Remember, you can use Podia to sell your courses as well as, you know, preparing all these digital downloadables. So everything's linking together, right? There's cross-pollination, there's cross-referencing that's already built in as opposed to having to figure out an embed or something that may or may not look good or even work. So with that said, what we're going to do is start a new blog like so. And what I'm going to do is right now repurpose something that's currently on my website so you can see how easy it is to kind of integrate directly into Podia. By the way, if you're someone who's already working within, let's say, Google Doc, you can copy and paste from Google Doc directly into this editor. And all that is going to carry it over, including, you know, your H2s, H3s, things like, you know, bullet points, numbered bullets, all of that. All right, so I am on my blog and let me go ahead and search for something that I do. Check it out. So previously I wrote this blog post, seven reasons I moved all my online courses to Podia. So now literally all I'm gonna do is just copy and paste directly from my website. And then I'm gonna drop it into this editor here. Look at that guys. All that is being copied over and then I'm going to move the title as well. Done. Get rid of this space. By the way, I want to show you something, which is this forward slash. As soon as I put that in, you can see that you can insert image, file, embed, button, and a line. You can also change the formatting here as well. Heading one, two, large, small text, bullet, list order list, code block. There's a lot to choose from. All right, so now I highlight this. You can see they already carried over H2s from my original blog post. So nothing I need to worry about there. Now, I didn't copy over this video, but that's okay. I'm going to click on share on my original blog post, grab this little link here. Now I can decide where I want the video to live. So forward slash, I'm going to click on embed. And here's my link. Click on insert. That's pretty sweet. That was very easy, by the way. All right, so let's take a look 
uh, at the right hand side here. So we got the summary. You can publish the blog post right away where you can choose a custom date and time. You got your time zone there as well. You can change the author. If I don't want to say Fei Wu from Face World Media, I can just update that if I choose to. And here I'm going to say why in terms of title, by the way, I can do seven reasons why I move all my courses to Podia. If I just copy that, check it out. And that's going to automatically add those dashes in between where I had spaces. Really easy. Let's take a look at details here. We can choose an image, a featured image. So I'm going to be lazy here and just save this image here in my download. Look, I can just drag and drop an image directly from my downloads folder right here to be a featured image. I can include alt text. I can add an excerpt for people to get a summary or get an idea of why I wrote this. All right, there's that. And comment is visible. Last but not least, SEO. I can give it an SEO title, description. If you hover over like fields that you're not so sure about, Podio will give you a definition description so that you know right away. And we've been blogging for a little while now, so this is pretty intuitive to us. In addition, you can also select a social media image, whether it's the same as your blog image or something different. It's up to you. And here you can say, yes, I want this page to be shown in search results, which is almost always 100% the case for us, but you can also hide it from Google search. All right, with that said, when you're ready, just hit publish. The moment of truth. Look, once your blog post is published, you have the direct link. You can take a look at it right away. You can also share it on social media and guys, you can email it to your subscriber. So let's take a look at the blog post first. Remember yours may look slightly different and this is mine. And I'm going to show you in just a second how to tweak certain features really easily. You know, you can go back in and remove the space if you want to, you know, pretty incredible. I got to say, all right. Now, what you also saw just now is email to your subscriber. You can click on that button. Now you're dropped back into the email marketing feature. You don't have to go anywhere else, guys. You can give a name to your email that's internally referenceable, subject line, preview text, from, recipient. And for everyone here, you can also filter based on the subscribers, or members, or customers of certain products. It is absolutely incredible. Look at the list of filtering functionalities that you would have, right? And here you can actually choose a starting point, whether you have already built out a template you want to reuse again and again, or you can leverage, you know, what's here available through Podia. There are further design options I'm not going to walk you through right now. Definitely watch this video I'm pointing at, and you can see all the detailed features for Podia email marketing. Now let's go back to the top. How do you customize the blogging features? So let's go ahead and click on view blog real quick. This is the blog landing page where all your blog posts are going to live, right? So you saw the one I just published. The other ones are templates. Now you're going to see the latest blog post and the rest are just templates or dummies. And I think this is really helpful when you get started so you can see how they look next to each other without you having to set up, you know, six different blog posts. But next, I want to show you how you can actually customize this page as well as your individual blog posts. This is very powerful, especially for those of you who don't want to keep manipulating how your site looks. You know it's all going to be taken care of, including opt-ins. All right, let's go into blog posts. On this page, you notice a couple of things. At the top, it says edit blog page or edit post page. So first, let's take a look at the blog page, which is the landing page you were just looking at. From here, I'm going to hover over and look, there's a little pencil icon. I'm going to click on that. I'll move myself. And from the top, I can say phase blog or our official or our academy blog. You can also say tools and resources for creators and business owners, additional text if you want to add it, but you also don't have to go crazy, obviously. You can add additional buttons, things like including a, or featuring specific courses or encouraging people to sign up for emails. It's totally up to you. Now down here, you can already play around very easily. You can choose to show 
or hide your blog imagery, which is the thumbnail. You can choose to show or hide the date, the author, number of comments, excerpt. So it's a little bit shorter versus longer. Also the button. All right, I'm going to just go back and to the default. I really like this. You know, it's not like we have a ton of content right now. Next, let's go into design. Click on this tab here. You can change the aspect ratio, rounded corners or otherwise. This is landscape and this is wide. Personally, like on my existing blog, I've always been using 16 by 9, which is wide or landscape imagery. You can change the corner. So like really subtle changes. I love the design aesthetics and the design team at Podia, keeping everything very clean, very versatile. You can do mobile full width or not. You may be wondering, where's my mobile view? Up here, guys, go into mobile. You can see the difference here. Okay, let's go back to desktop. In terms of layout, you can choose whether you have the text and everything centered or off to the side, different alignments of the text in general. You can also choose whether you own columns or rows or alternating row right there. That's kind of a popular view as well. I'm going to go back to default again. You can change the width like so. Appearance. Again, I think the default one is like really not bad at all, but it depends on what you prefer. If you have a lot of content, you may prefer to even shorten the excerpt or just remove this section altogether. Up to you. Now I'm going to say publish. I like how it looks. Next, let me show you how the blog post or the post page will look like. Let's click on done. What dropped me back to the page I was just looking at. Next, let's click on edit post page. This is huge. This is a template basically for each and every one of your posts. You have to do this once and not worry about it anymore. So I'm going to click inside and boom, click on the pencil icon again. By the way, these up and down toggles are going to move different sections of your blog up and down. Really, really easy that way. So now let's take a look at the content. By default, I have the feature image, but you can hide it if you choose to. Again, date, author, comment, count, and excerpt. The more interesting part perhaps is this design element. I'm going to show you real quick. So you got the title, you got the top section, and you know all the things that we just talked about. But if you look at down here within the text area, right, you have the width of the blog post, right, most narrow, 768. The widest is 1344. I kind of like the narrow view. And the gaps within different sections, as well as vertical padding. You also have plain versus card like this. You have different themes. Whoa, that's kind of sexy. Dark versus light or pale. Definitely play around. You can also drop a background image. Now, one thing I really want you to be aware of is instead of having people read the blog post or for you to have to wait until they reach the bottom, which is the footer area before they subscribe to your email newsletters or they even discover a course or a digital downloadable, you can do that within these different sections. Let me show you. Whenever you see a plus sign here, click on that. Now you can do a lot, right? So let me go ahead and show you what if I want to drop in an email form? Hey, join our newsletter to grow your business with powerful podcast videos and virtual event strategies. I don't have to wait until they're at the bottom so I can build it in right here. Now, the only thing I would say is if anything you want to insert, especially at the top or in the middle, make sure that it is fairly minimum. I'm looking at my own newsletter here on Podia. I would say I'm going to try to trim it down or at least reduce the size of these fonts here. Right. So you can definitely make those changes. You don't want it anymore. Click on the little trash can icon, confirm and say remove section. There are other things you can certainly insert as well. But you can see like if you're already familiar with some of these elements, if you're using Podia, I mean, any of these elements and this process is probably straightforward. Even if you're not as a brand new user, it's very easy to pick up. So let's say in the middle here you want to add an image you want to add a video or a feature you can do that right away and because we're editing at the template level remember whatever you do here should be universal something that you do want to show up to every single one of your blog posts 
So I hope you guys find this helpful. I am super excited that this feature now exists with so many different uh, bells and whistles for you as a creator to really play with. If you like this video, I hope you check out this next one, all about Podia email marketing features, some advanced features there as well. You definitely want to leverage them, whether you are just getting started as a blogger or course creator. So I will see you right there. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. I want to showcase these beautiful scarves that we have recently designed and collaborated with Xiang Li, my mom, who is a master artist from the Forbidden City in Beijing. She spent 37 years there and she's been painting all these watercolor empresses. She's been painting all her paintings on 100% silk in the past decade. And we want to take advantage of them and basically repurpose the designs on wearables like these scarves, hoodies, shirts, socks, you name it. And of course they're art prints, so take advantage of them. 50% of all profits go to support the charities that we love. So thank you so much for watching. Please check out this next video. We think you're gonna love it. See you there.